look up at the sky. Soaring 350 kilometers above our heads at a speed of almost 28,000 kilometers per hour, the International Space Station is circling the Earth 15 times a day. If you're lucky, you might even be able to see it with your naked eyes. This humongous outer space research facility has been in orbit for about 10 years now. At the present moment, astronauts are up there, risking their lives to build this magnificent structure. Why? What makes the ISS so important? Let's find out. The International Space Station is not the first space station, nor is it the only space station. It is, however, the biggest and most advanced space station. Russia, the United States, Japan, Brazil, and Canada have all teamed up to build the ISS. The station is primarily made up of rooms called modules. These modules are connected together by nodes. Giant solar panels are used to provide power to the station. The space station still is not complete. When it will be complete, the ISS will be 20 stories high and will be wider than the Bronco Stadium in Boise. There are always astronauts living up in space, working on this complex outpost. This station has been in space for around a decade. In that decade, space agencies around the world have been working hard to complete this giant project. Let's find out what happened in that 10 years. The very first idea for a space station was brought up almost a century and a half ago, in 1869. It was proposed by a novelist who talked about how a brick moon would come and orbit Earth. The term space station was first used in 1923 by a Romanian scientist who theorized a structure in space to be used as an intergalactic launch pad. In 1952, Dr. Werner von Braun published his idea of a space station in a magazine. He said it would be 250 feet in diameter and would fly over 2.5 thousand kilometers above the Earth. Starting in the 1970s, Russia and the U.S. began sending up numerous space stations, but it wasn't until a decade later when the idea for the ISS was proposed. In 1982, U.S. President Ronald Reagan announced an idea for what he called Space Station Freedom. After that, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, also known as NASA, established a task force to commence the designing and building of the station. In 1984, Regan decided to officially commence the operation, and the space station project was finally underway. In early 1985, Canada, Japan, and Europe decided to join the project. The project became known as the International Space Station. Later on, in 1988, the development stage started, and the space agency started to build the first parts of the space station. Unfortunately, the preliminary designs were flawed, and the ISS project went back to the drawing. In 1993, the station was finally redesigned. Russia, after recently having experienced the USSR breakup, joined the project as soon as the design was fixed. In 1998, the first two parts of the ISS were launched into space and then joined together while in orbit. The ISS was born. The first module, known as Zarya, was launched in November and the Unity docking module was launched and joined to Zarya in December. In the summer of 1999, a Russian service module was launched and then attached. Finally, in late 1999, the very first crew arrived on the ISS. In 2001, 
The Japanese experimental module was launched and assembled on the space station. One year later, the European Space Agency launched the Columbus Orbital Facility, and by the end of 2003, after many adjustments and small launches, the ISS became fully operational. Ever since then, there have been many launches and assemblies, and the ISS has begun to grow, getting bigger and better. Still, it isn't complete. NASA doesn't expect it to be complete until at least 2010. When it is done, the structure will be massive.